try to manipulate us into staying with you. You try to manip- manipulate us into being with you. Oh, you just weak. You can't take a black woman. You can't take a black. That's why you dating a white woman. That's why you dating a Hispanic woman. Because you can't take a, you damn right. I can't take a black woman. Now what? Yo, yo, quick video, Don J, Luminous Horizon, shedding light on limited perceptions is always welcome. I want to get some metrics for you, and I'm going to actually read this so that we can be accurate, as accurate as possible. It can take more than 100 hours over a period of three months to get to know somebody to get into a relationship with. The average relationship lasts two years and nine months before coming to an end. Social media plays an important role on the demise of relationships, and the younger couple has shorter relationships. A study led by the American Sociological Association determined that nearly 70% of divorces are initiated by women, and the percentage of college-educated American women who initiate divorce is even higher. Whoa. 82% of the population in the United States has a social networking profile. Men and women date an average of three to five people at the same time. Where am I going with this? This is why we have so many messed up relationships and why we have so many options that lead to demise. Do the math. That's 1,800 hours you've spent getting to know someone. That's 14.5 years you've spent total dealing with people and relationships. If the maximum was 500%, 350% of women initiated divorce, which only one third can be due to domestic violence situations. The other two third are from boredom or the theme of the relationship being over. The average woman will have six relationships and they will end being single or lonely. These are metrics. Before you hate me, if you don't know, everything you do in life is measured. This is why when you get the house, you got to put on the application, African-American, female, 32 when you get married 21 white male everything is measured so when you look at all that time that's passed you mean to tell me with all these metrics that men are the problem let me paint a clear picture for you i always talk about adam and eve eve was bored she listened to the serpent she was bored it's in women's nature to be bored But that's why women who have self-control get higher praise because it's in your nature to become bored. The women that stick around and stay godly and stay virtuous, those are the women that get the praise and that get the good men because they've been tested. The test of time came and they've done the work because they did see a muscular guy and he did holler at her and she said, no, no, I'm good. I got a husband. And her husband had a a pop belly who only made $35,000 a year. She said, no, I'm good. I love that man. God gave me that man. I want him. I love him. That's why she gets more praise. Because looking at these metrics, looking at all these metrics, she knows that she still got the advantage. If they leave, she still doesn't leave because she values and cherishes that man. This is why a lot of y'all are not finding good men. And you want good men. We don't want you. Because with these metrics... We test too. Let me let me let me put that out there. We don't say that men do shit test. We test you too. We definitely test you to test the time. Yo, let me tell you one of the easiest tests, right? One of the easiest tests that a man pulls on a woman. Because yes, we shit test. The easiest test that you can pull on a woman. Talk to her for a little bit, right? You got her number from a dating app. Talk to her for a little bit, right? After like four hours, maybe even after a day or two, ask her for a dirty picture. If that woman sends you a dirty picture, you know instantly you're not going to marry her. You know instantly you're not going to get into a relationship with her. You know why? Because if you sent it to me in two days of knowing me, you don't really know me. If you sent that to me in two days and we don't even have a real connection and you sent that because of attraction or desire, there's other men you sent that to. And the way we find out even further, excuse me. A lot of y'all ladies don't understand like your body and your hygiene and when you actually give into another man, that stuff wears on you. You can smell it, you can feel it, all of that. And it'd be gross, I'm just being honest. 
we test too. I'm just being honest. And now you have guys like Andrew Tate. You got guys like FitX. You got guys like Stephis Cole. You got guys like AMS who are helping. We're helping. The delivery may not always be the best, but there's no good way of delivering the truth. It's always going to hurt. It's always going to hurt. So you got these guys who are delivering these messages and you hate them for delivering the truth. I've seen a bunch of videos. Do you like Andrew Tate? No. Why? Um, 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 well, um, well, mm, you see, because he's telling the truth. He's not delivering in the way that you want it. But again, the delivery is not going to, there is no good delivery for hearing the truth. You just got to suck that crap up. The reality is you don't like Andrew Tate because he told the truth to himself and now he's winning. He's making money off of his truths. You can do the same exact thing. If you just shut up and listen to the truth, it's true. All the metrics that I just read to you, it's true. It's all true. It's all true. You can't fight with metrics again. Everything you do, they have you put your name, your date of birth, all the, so they can measure your life and your decisions. And you don't even know that. And yet you make silly and stupid decisions. We're trying to help you. We are trying to help. Contrary to popular belief, if, if, if men like Andrew Tate were not trying to help you, we, he would never say anything. If I was never trying to help you, I would never make a video. I'm trying to steer people in the right direction so you can help your own life. And people still like, man, I don't like that. I don't, it's your truth. If you don't like it, if it hurts, it's your truth. I can't say anything about that. I didn't like when I got cheated. I told myself over and over, it couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. Then I'm like, dang, bro, you didn't have no job. You was living under her daddy's roof. You were taking care of her three kids and you were doing pretty much nothing with your life outside of just being a musician. You didn't have any roles. You flunked out of college because you really couldn't afford it. It sent you to a depression. And then you really just kind of didn't have anything. You had a, a warehouse job that you kept every now and then. It's like, bro, once I started telling myself these truths, I couldn't be mad at her no more. I couldn't be like, man, that hoe cheated on me. Yeah, she cheated on you. Wasn't doing nothing. Men tell each other the truth. We tell ourselves the truth first, and it's easy to tell ourselves the truth. A lot of y'all ladies don't want to hear the truth, and I don't understand why. The women that tell themselves the truth are trying to help other women, and now you're you're a misogynist too. What are you talking about? And now here we are at the final stages of a lot of women's lives where they're starting to hear the truth at 45 years old because you're trying to manipulate us into staying you women trying to manipulate us oh you want to get your passport and go over there i can go too yeah it's not the same baby girl you want to be equal so bad and i get it to a degree you want to be treated fairly that's not realistic the same way people in different communities want to be treated equally we can't i can't just go to india and be treated the same way as i'll be treated in the black community to be honest i'll probably be treated better if i just went to india instead of go to the hood but I can't accept, expect we in, in in United States. I feel like I I think. Let me say, <laughs> I think we want to just change how people feel about us. We got all the laws. We can vote, gay rights, everything that's happening, everything that's going on is a good thing. But we want to change how people feel about us, and that's the one thing that ain't never gonna change. You're not gonna change the fact that you go outside, you let your kids play with your your neighbor. And your neighbor still might have a racist twinge because their father raised them with that. And your neighbor's trying to outlive what their father has taught them because they see that black people are good. You can't make them change their perception of you. It does on their own. They do it on their own. So y'all ladies want a man to change their per change his perception on you. It doesn't happen. You try to manipulate us into staying with you. You try to manip manipulate us into being with you. Oh, you just weak. You can't take a black woman. You can't take a black. That's why you dating a white woman. That's why you dating a Hispanic woman. Because you can't take a... You damn right. I can't take a black woman. Now what? <laughs> it didn't get me with you. You see how that negativity didn't work? You see how it didn't make me want to be with you? You see how it didn't help? You don't, you're not going to see a Hispanic woman saying that about you. You're not going to see another white woman saying that about you. As much as we want us to stick together as a race, I'm being honest. I'm sorry if this sounds bad. As much as black women want us to stick together as a race, what makes it hard to do that is you don't want to change your own life, your own perception. Men too, 
as men and women black in the black community we don't want to change our perceptions we don't want to change our limited mindsets we don't want to go to therapy we don't want to do the work we don't want to understand history and not the history that says oh my god i can't believe they did that to us i hate white people now no you need to understand the history understand where we came from understand how to love under other races and where we are now and the hard work we got to now we don't want to do that work and then we shame each other oh she with a white man oh man she she must can't take d no dog she's just had a lot of you oh he he he, he can't take black woman because yeah he can't take black woman he can't that's why he got a white because she don't she don't treat him bad she treat him exactly how he want like a king and you can't be mad at her for it you be mad all you want they got a happy life and a dog fix yourselves that's the message for today fix yourself you're not going to make anything better and what's happening now is a lot of guys are going overseas myself included going overseas and these women are amazing it leaves you further in the deficit eventually there's nothing to do but heal i always tell my friends they ask me don how did you level up so much in your life i say you know how i leveled up god put me through pain through pain through pain through pain through pain there was a point in time i said this is stupid but you know why it was stupid because i kept putting myself in situations and disobeying god you have a way of submitting under under god you have a way of submitting unto the order and the direction he wants you to follow but what i compare that to is how we try to manipulate people to be with us and you have a way of just being what we need you to be everything else ladies listen you tried black women listen you tried everything else to make us feel bad hurt pain defeat all this stuff and it didn't work so now your last straw is using manipulation which is witchcraft and it's not working it's never gonna work so now you're in a position where you have to change and the sad part is the change you could have made at 25 you made at 46 and now you're at the point where you really want a man to open up to you and be for you and your chances are even slimmer God can do anything. He can send a man your way. But what have you done to another man that may convince God to be like, absolutely not. You ain't no man for what? What if? My younger ladies, listen to this message. What if? And I'm going to leave it there. Don J. Luminous Horizon, shedding light on limited perceptions as always. Be lit.